Welcome back to Felsbrunn. A lovely sunny day, not a cloud in the sky. Not only this, but Mr. Sniff is awaiting your arrival. Here he is, he's very happy, and he is actually um, delighted that he has been called Mr. Sniff. My audience chose the name, the majority of my audience did, and yes, he seems to approve. So, Mr. Sniff it is. Anyway, in the previous video, we, uh, we did a contracting job just over here, in the field, with the John Deere. And at the end we were reimbursed for something. I didn't know exactly what it was. Anyway, my viewers, some of my viewers, had a very good suggestion that it could be the seed that we didn't use. Not the seed that we did use, what we didn't use. So we did have to pay for the seed, but not what we still had left in the drill. That isn't necessarily what it was. It was a suggestion, a very good one, and you know what, I, I think I agree. It seems like a very logical explanation to the reimbursement. So, yeah, that is good news that we got reimbursed for it. Uh, we did get reimbursed for the other field as well. Anyway, yes, also, my very helpful audience noticed that um, you can unload the sprayers. So if you want to swap between herbicide and liquid fertilizer, just press I, providing you have enough space around you, and it will create an IBC. Doesn't matter how much you've got, it will create the IBC, and it will... It will put it there next to you so that you can move it around with the forklift. Or if you want to, you can very simply just fill the sprayer up again, if that's what you want to do. So there you go, he's in refilling it. And it will disappear, and then if I want to get rid of it again, just get rid of it. Simple. So we don't need to do any spraying today. It turns out that our fields are now ready to harvest. So I'm just going to take the sprayer off. There isn't much but all I what I could do is I could take the combine harvester out just after moving the IBC. So we'll move the IBC, give ourselves some space, come on, there we go. Um, yes, this is going to be our first proper harvest I think because yeah, the first one was just some canola which we didn't even plant, it wasn't fertilised. Um, this field behind us definitely is fertilised, 100% fertilised. The other one I think is 50% fertilised, so it's not bad, it's not perfect but it should still produce a fairly good yield. Uh, let's just make sure we get under there. There we go. You know what I'm like with pallet forks and stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty useless when it comes to picking up pallets. So yeah, that has freed up some space. We need to move this combine harvester. And yeah, we'll do field 21st, which is the one just behind Mr. Sniff. Mr. Sniff has a house next to our house. And we'll put the New Holland tractor just in here. One of these tractors is going to have to do the carting. I suppose actually this one, it's colour-coded with the trailer. So that would make perfect sense. Uh, we might not need the front weight, but I'll keep it on there. No point in really messing around taking it off. Right, so there we go. Now I can appreciate everybody's desperate for me to get some different tractors. We're going to allow this farm to progress naturally, we're not going to go cheating money. Um, if you'd like to see all the different tractors, the big stuff, we are going to be um, streaming. I'm going to be streaming, so yes, that is definitely what you want to be watching. Uh, Ravenport is what I'll be playing and we're going to have all the big stuff and all the smaller stuff too. It's just going to be basically um, money is no object, have tons of fun and uh, yeah, just do all the different jobs, silage, cotton, uh, everything, mowing, harvesting, loads, animals as well, need to do more animals, because at the moment this farm is not going to be animals for a very long time, we need to build up the arable side first, we could have just done livestock, but then again, um, yes, I do like to start with the arable, so here we go, let's see what this field is uh, up to. See how good the yield is. Oh, actually, yes, that's right. I want to leave a swath because I think even if we're not buying a baler, which I'd like to do, we'll definitely lease one because I don't think it would cost too much to lease a baler and if we sell the bales we should make back way more than the rental price. So yeah, it's, it's definitely worth doing and if we don't want it we can just plow it in. So it's not the end of the world. Um, chances are we're going to use it. It's there if we need it.
we're just cutting through the middle of this final piece and we're almost full so we'll unload i don't know how full the trailer is i should think it's quite full um but yeah we'll switch this off here it's not quite a full load I'll head back down the side actually try and get it as full as possible Yes, I think the trailer must be fairly close to being totally full because we've put, well this is probably going to be the third or fourth load and it's not a massive trailer, so we'll see. Almost full, we're not going to make it. There we go. Right, uh, well the, the traction trailer needs to come closer anyway actually, so what I'll do is I'll bring it over, see how full it actually is got to be 70% wow it's only half full surprising so I'll just position this here and it means we're going to get the whole field into just one trailer load trying to fill it evenly yeah I'm very happy with this combine actually I think we'll change it as soon as we can do um, which probably sounds like a strange thing to say when I say I'm very happy with it it's just it's just too small, um, because eventually we're going to have so much land that we won't be able to keep up. But the combine itself is fine. It does the job very well. Okay, we go back up this side, and yeah, we're almost done. We're almost finished. But I just don't know if we're going to put the grain in storage or go and sell it. The final piece! Yes, things are going really well. Uh, really happy with this, and I I don't know how much we're going to make off it. It's going to be, well, obviously a few thousand, uh, possibly just over £10,000, plus the bales, but then we do have the expense of the baler. The other thing we could do is to rent a loading wagon, but I think I would prefer to do some baling. I want to see how the bales handle, so it will likely be a round baler. That is the cheapest. Oh, look, we're so close. Are we going to fit it in? Yeah, we should do. I do have quite a few little miss bits here and there, which I'm going to, I'm going to go around the headland and basically just clear them up. And we'll make it nice and tidy. So, yeah. A piece up here. And we've got a few pieces just over there. I think a bird just dive-bombed. It did. It dive-bombed onto the combine. <laughs> it's flown away again. I'm not surprised. I probably thought it was very toasty in the engine there if that's where it went. There we go. Right, so now I've covered everything, we can officially say that the field is done. You can see that every time I got to the end and stopped, I've left a great big pile. Hmm, this actually might not fit. That is a full load. No, it's not going to. Plus, we don't have a silo, and a silo would cost a fair bit of money. How much is a silo? £110,000. The only other alternative is just to dump it in a barn, uh, which I could do. That is fine, as long as it stays dry. Yeah, I think we're going to have to just sell it off the field. So if we go onto the commodity page, we should be able to find wheat. Uh, the price is going down, which is a shame. Uh, it's not good to sell it at these prices, although even though it's going down, it's still not a bad price. 673. Uh, that's Grain Elevator East. That shouldn't be too far from here. It isn't. So what I need to do is put a marker on there. There we go. It should be a beacon of light. There it is. And we'll head in this direction. Uh, what I'll do is I'll drive in third person view just so you can see the map. Uh, I don't think I've been over there before. I've been over to the port. But I don't think I've been over to this particular cell point. Uh, so we'll see. We'll just see uh, what the map is like over here. I think the majority of the map is behind us anyway. I think over there. The majority of the map's over there. And then we've got the big mountain with the castle. And then the other side there is the town with the river. I'm starting to get the hang of this. Although this could be tough. Knowing which way to go here. Ah, oh, you lunatic. Did you see that? I might have gone wrong anyway, but... Um, 
Yeah, technically yes, but also no. <laughs> Both ways will get to the same place. This is probably the long way. In fact, it is. It's, it's a very long way. But even so, um, enjoy the map. This is our cell point. So I'm really not expecting miracles here. Just maybe ten thousand um, pounds. Oh no, sorry, that's that's a bit of a push. It's going to be much less than that. Uh, maybe eight thousand. Maybe eight. Need to make sure I'm in the right place here. I might not be quite central. No, oh, but oh, there we go. Right. Let's sell. Come on, £8,000. We do still have more in the Combine, so there'll be slightly more. And we got 7037 The good math mathematicians among us will have got that already. Um, yeah, so that was wheat. The price has decreased again, which is a shame. Um, in fact, it's now, it's now not the best. Sunflowers look good, but <laughs> unfortunately, we don't have any sunflowers. As we're passing the store, we'll take a look and see what the price of the baler is. I think it's £49,000 to buy the round baler, so really the lease price should be fairly reasonable, hopefully. Um, so let's just take a look at the baling technology section. This one here, uh, we'll keep it standard, we don't need to go for anything fancy, although I'd like to see it. Y tires, standard tires, yeah, they're much chunkier. But the lease price is 3920 plus um, 2450 per hour. We will only need it for one hour though, so it is 3920. We need to just hope that the price of a bale is good. So I've got it leased, we're now going to take this trailer back over to the combine, and I think, yeah, we'll start it. Um, We'll take the grain over to the sell points, of course, but it'll only be a tiny bit, so we'll do that later. Especially as the price isn't good, we might as well just keep it in the trailer until one of the sell points is getting a, a better price. It's probably not going to be much at all, it's probably only about 2,000 litres or so, or maybe one. But yeah, there's just no point selling it for a really bad price, whatever the amount. So there it is, we have a lovely field of straw. It's not the straightest whatsoever, but it will do. We'll be able to at least get it bailed, and we should make some money from those bales. Yeah, how much is in here? Well, that's 1,600 litres. 1,953. We'll put a cover over it so it doesn't get wet, and we'll put this back over in the yard. Now, where did Mr. Sniff go? Absolutely no idea. He's probably in the house. Um, yes, we'll just park this on the concrete area. And we can now go and fetch the baler. This tractor will have enough power, so that's good. In fact, both the tractors we own will have enough power for this baler. There it is. Um, yeah, so round bales. The field is fairly flat, so they're not going to roll away, which is always handy. Let's do some bailing. And the baler does have a beacon too. Okay, I'll start at this side, and we'll do a bit, and just see how it goes. Hopefully it's going to go quite well. Oh, that scared the birds. all engaged. That should work. Oh, we'll turn the beacon off too. Wow, it's filling up really fast. Okay, bail number one. On the way. Do we have to manually unload it? I think we do. Yep, 
Press Y. And there it is. The first bale I've produced on FS19. We shall mark this milestone. I'm sure there'll be many more to come and many more stacking fails where I fail with bale stacks. Uh, they will go tumbling. These great big piles I've produced just fill it up in no time. It's almost a bale in itself, the amount we have piled up here. Um, yes, I can imagine there being an awful lot of bales off this field. The other thing is we do have another field which is likely going to have to be baled, so we'll keep the baler. We might have to pay another hour's rent or whatever. That's full. Um, but if it's a good price, it doesn't matter. If it's a bad price, yes, it does matter. But we'll find out in a minute anyway what the price is like for these. Because we'll just sell one of them and discover the value of a bale. Unless you can see, maybe you can see on the commodity page. In fact, that's a good idea. We'll take a look. After emptying the baler. Uh, right. Saving content. Commodities. Let's see here. I don't think it's on here. Hmm. No, I don't think so. Although... Is that the same icon? Still getting used to the icons. It is the same icon, actually. Yes. The barn. £80 per 1,000 litres. How many litres are in a bale? I think it's 4,000. So, what's that going to make it per bale? That's 80 times 4, which would be 320. 320 a bale, if my maths is correct, which it probably isn't. It is a bale every 15 seconds, especially when you get to the end. Oh, I think I missed a bit. Uh, don't worry though, everything I miss I will go back to. Over the years of playing Farming Simulator and producing videos, I have become to realise that if you, you do leave bits, it doesn't tend to go down well. So, yes, I'll make sure I pick up every single piece. And also, that is going to help us anyway, because we get paid per litre, essentially. And there's bound to be more than several litres in each piece of mist straw. So, same with grass. Same with hay and everything. For every bit you miss, that's a bit of mist money. Now you can go over the top, I think. I'm trying to uh, get money for like the slightest bit, but I can understand it because it doesn't look good either. So I'll try my best here. Right, so I want to test as well what happens if you put a bale on a hillside. Now, this isn't really a hillside, but this would probably be enough to get the bale to roll. So not this bale, the next one we do. I just want to see how it stays in place, basically. Right. Yeah, so I've tidied up most of that area. There are still a few missed pieces of straw, but we can go back to that. Right, um, so that's that's going downhill towards the road. I'm not wanting it to roll away, I just want to see what it does. So if I unload it there. It's rolling. You would expect it to roll. Yeah, it's going to create a nice roadblock. We better make that the bale that we go and sell. Okay, so we'll do this swath, then we'll grab the Massey Ferguson. We actually do need to buy a bale spike for it, although I could get a pallet fork and use that, but yes, I think we'll use a, a bale spike. And then we'll take it over to the barn. I'm not quite sure where the barn is, actually. Um, and just see if it is around 320 a bale. Hopefully it is, because that would make us a good bit of money. It would certainly pay for renting the baler. 
It's a big chunk. Wow. Okay then. The barn. That is... Oh, it's near the animal dealer. Okay. Well, it's a long way to go with just one bale on a pallet tine, or on a bale spike, but um, we can do it. We can definitely bring ourselves to do that. I mean, taking it down a road, but that's not really an issue. Uh, there's not too much traffic about. So into the front loader section. Let's just buy this bell spike. Whoop. There we go. Um, done. I've just realized we actually could probably fit it into the back of the gator. I'm not going to, I don't think. Although I am intrigued to do it because in the trailer they had one in the Mahindra. And, well, it kind of looked crazy, but it seemed to work. So I'll do it just this once, since we are going to go and sell just one bale individually. Uh, there's my front loader. We could also use the uh, the forklift, but then again, it's very slow. Although, actually no, no, it is, it's very slow. This can do 43, that can do 26. To the store. We have our bell spike. So we're going to go for this one just down here. It actually looks like it's been pushed out of the way by a vehicle. And now to the gator. If it doesn't look like it's going to fit or if it looks like it's going to come flying off on the road, I will just take it on the tractor. I don't want to lose it like halfway between here and there. So there is the gator. I reckon it's going to fit. It's going to be like the same size as the machine, but it's definitely possible. Costs us £22,000, this gator. I don't want to damage it. Oh, just damaged it. Yep, yeah, that's, that's quite heavy for it. Um, this is silly. I shouldn't be doing this. Although, actually, no, hang on. Hang on. I've just got my positioning wrong. There we go. There we go. <laughs> can we strap it on? Oh, we can. Wow. We can strap it on. That looks surprisingly secure. As if it was meant to be. How I underestimate things. Let's go. We're off to the barn. And this can do 53 miles per hour. So that beats both of those two machines. Understandably. Quite a good way of showing off suspension. Especially if we're going faster. Uh, right, I've lost the barn. It is over here. Right, if we just have a look underneath. That's some crazy rocking. I don't know what the oncoming tra traffic's going to think, but they must think we're mad. Right, is this the barn just up here? Yeah, it's the animal dealer, and just south of that is the barn. Ah, oh, so much quieter in here. Um, the entrance, I would have thought, is separate to the animal dealer, although maybe not. Maybe not. There it is, I think. Uh, I was hoping to just unstrap it and tip the uh, gator and see what it looks like. I reckon if I do just drive into there, it will just disappear, so I want to make the most of this. Alright, straps off. I don't have access. Oh, I can't tip it because I don't own the land. Oh, oh well. 3, 2, 7. Even better, that means the price has gone up. It means my calculation was correct, but the price, yep, it's 82. 
That's good. That is very good timing, actually. It means it's going to be even better when we come to sell the rest of those bales. That's going to be in the next episode, which shouldn't be too long. It should be today. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.